can come up and say something if you'd like, or you don't have to. We could all just sit quietly with our thoughts. Sit on the inside. I guess I'll go first. <laughs> I'm sad that I will never have the opportunity to know Lara in person, but I am so glad that while she was here, she got to know what it, what it's like to be loved by Shane. <laughs> the happiness and, and the comfort of knowing that you're with a really great guy, one that never fails you. If Shane says he's gonna hit a homer for you, he does. And if you feel like you are so mad, you just need to throw plates, Shane will stand by your side and hand you those plates. <laughs> it's rare to find someone in this world that is so determined to make everything around him better. Um, I'm not too good at this kind of thing, you know? Um, Shane, you're the strongest person I know, man. You're strong all around. You're the closest thing I have to a brother, and, <laughs> and that's a feed into itself. Not always a treat to be around. You can ask her. He's not. <laughs> I, I don't know you, but I do know about loss. After my mother died, my grandmother used to say to me, Chrissy, don't be greedy with your sadness when you've got someone still here who wants to take it away. <laughs> it always seemed to help me. Shane, your mother and I have something for you that we hope will help. That's a press release that will go out tomorrow announcing that the new building that's going up at the H.B. Lewis Memorial Hospital would be named in honor of Lara Fasano, who was killed while doing her part to make the world a safer place. It's a small way of connecting her forever to this family in the way that Shane had intended. Reva and I will also be establishing a scholarship to be awarded to the student who best exemplifies her and Shane's dedication to helping others. Go. Lara will never be forgotten. So. I, I need to say something. She was my best friend, and I loved her very much. I don't know what else to say. Everything that I wanted, if ever wanted from this world, was all was all wrapped up in the life that we were planning together. And then she was gone. And um, I felt like I wasn't, uh, I wasn't really living, you know? I was um, kind of existing, kind of. Then Dinah found me. I know that I haven't been easy to deal with. But it has, been really good to be home and to, to see all of you, especially my parents. Dad, I'm really sorry about earlier. I just didn't know if I could do this. It's okay. You're doing it. And I want all the bad stuff to be behind us, the accident, everything, okay? Because I need you to know that you are the best man I've ever met. And I do think that you and mom should still be together. But I guess, obviously, Jeffrey, <laughs> you make her happy. And you better keep it up. And mom, 
I'm really happy that you're having this baby. I haven't told you. But I'm really happy because I've never seen you smile so much. And you were right the other day when you said that you are going to make it. I'm sorry, but I believe what I said was we were going to make it. The two of us would be good. Why don't you and your dad come home to the house with us? We'll, we'll have dinner together and, and we can talk some more. Sounds good to me. I need to go. But I wanted to uh, just say thank you for doing this. It really would have meant a lot to Lara to know that uh, my family loved her without even knowing her. I hope it helped. I love you guys. You know, he may want to be alone. Take these back to the house. I just wish Shane were coming with us. I think this was good for him. Most he said since he's been back. He's still in so much pain. Lara Fasano's memorial service? Um, I'm sorry, you missed it. Were you a friend? I was her father. 